and yet a lot of people see the language or see the look or something in their history reminds them of something that they did in a new age past and they go, oh, this is just like that other stuff and where it was all wrong and don't even feel the situation. I've seen that happen a lot with people who have attended our seminars, heard a lot of things intellectually, and they walk out and go back into the world and think that they arrogantly can discern what is loving and what is not, when actually there can be love, a lot of love present at a church group, and there can be a lot of love present at a local yoga class. But um, just because they use different language or use some techniques where perhaps love hasn't been present, then people can get very judgmental. Would you say that um, that arrogance that I know I <clears throat> am working with, um, is that just another addiction or is it Definitely. on an on even worse layer than addiction? No, like, it's an addiction. It's, it's a kind of addiction. It's okay. an addiction that covers over a lot of internal fears. It's certainly an addiction. The problem with arrogance, though, is that, is that it's very hard to convince a person otherwise. See, with some other addictions, you can sit down with them and say, have you seen this? And if they're not arrogant, they can go, oh, yeah, I can see. But, but when they're arrogant, there's also this additional blockage to actually accepting the information. That's right. And a so. feeling I already know. So it's very hard. There's no openness in that place. Yeah. Every sixth fear spirit believes they already know all about God's love, pretty much. Now, there's some that don't even believe in God that are in the sixth fear, and of course they, don't, they would have say they, there's no such thing. They, they think they already know that there's no such thing. Right? But, but the reality is they, uh, their arrogance prevents them from knowing, even though they're in a really great condition of love. Their arrogance still prevents them from knowing. So you can get into a better condition of natural love and be arrogant to a degree. You're never going to get on the divine love path if you're arrogant. Does that make sense? Or you will when you start, maybe, but you're never going to end up at one with God being arrogant. Yeah. Early days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So at the start, you know, we're a bit arrogant. We think we know this and we think we know that and we think we know that. And the more we go along, the more we realize we don't know. And that, that is also one of the operations of God's love is it, is it brings you to the point of seeing yourself how God sees you rather than seeing yourself how you believe you are. 